Hello guys. So today I'm going to try and talk you through a quick calculation so that you are able to calculate the volume of wax or fragrance or the amount of wax and fragrance that would be required for you to be able to create different candles in different vessels. Obviously on the market now there is lots of different candle jars available and it's not always easy to understand maybe the amount of stock that you need to order or the amount of wax that you need to melt or even the amount of fragrance that you might need. So I'm going to give you this quick hack and hopefully it helps you understand how to do this without overordering, creating waste, melting too much and gives you the confidence to be able to go forward and maybe order some more different types of containers, different shapes, smaller ones or larger ones. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab yourself a jug full of water. Um, and the reason we do need to do this calculation is obviously soy wax is less dense than water. So you've got to do this so that you understand what you need in terms of liquid wax. So you get, you melt the right amount basically. So this is a quick hack. So first of all, you've got your jug of water. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Obviously, you can use a measuring jug for you to understand how many mils you have put in. Or you can grab yourself a set of LCS scales, which do also have the option of the mill unit on there. So I'm actually going to do it with the scales, and I'm going to do it for the purpose of this video with the Oh My God jar. So I'm place the Oh My God jar on the scales. And I'm just going to obviously make sure that you tear the scales so they're at zero. And then get your water and you want the water to be roughly at the line of where you would want the candle to be. So you're looking for kind of a similar height for you to get the right thing. So I'm just going to pour this in. And I will be thinking... I'm going to go nice and full. I think that looks quite nice. So the scales are telling me that there is 615 mils of water in this container. So now what I want to do is I want to get that number and I want to times that by 0.9. So as I did the calculation earlier, because I wouldn't be able to do it that quickly, so 615 times 0.9, which is about 553. So I would be looking at sort of rounding that up or rounding that down. So I am now going to go away, get my wax on a melter or understand what I need and I'm going to go away and do my wax and fragrance calculation based on a total volume of 550. Okay, so I hope that little maths class helps you out and it's a little hack that you'll be able to use so that you can um, calculate your volume for various containers. Please do remember that that is the total volume that you will need. So obviously that dep will depend on how much fragrance you want to add and how much wax you want to add, but that is the total amount roughly that you're going to be aiming for to fill that container. Um, so yes, I hope that helps and um, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thank you.